I'm sitting here in Lego House with the one and only Jamie Barat. So good to see you again. See you. Thank you for coming. We talk every year at least once yes. and every time we see you have something new for us. I hope so. This time it's the new Lego Creator Expert, NASA Apollo 11 Lunar Lander 102-66 with 1000, 1087 pieces. So this is the new product in town. Brand new. Never seen before, I hope. <laughs> Never seen <laughs> any image. <laughs> um, What is special about this set? I mean, we see the logo here, yes. uh, Apollo 50, 50, so there was some landing, I think, some yeah, decades ago. Something happened about 50 years ago. Yeah. It's, it's actually celebrating the, uh, the landing on the moon, of course, uh, which was a wonderful global event that brought everybody together. And so we wanted to really give it the proper treatment. I mean, we've done the lunar lander before. You may remember in the past, I think it was the 1970s there was one. Yeah. Then we did it for the Discovery Collection. But hopefully when you see this, it really stands out as that's how it should be done. Uh, we really had a lot of fun with it, um, trying to get all of the authentic details, but also capturing the most important part, which are those little footsteps of the minifigure landing on the moon. This is lovely here. <laughs> And it's kind of architecture style. So maybe I could guess because your lead, of lead um, design of Creator Expert and architecture, you brought something here to Creator Expert. Yeah, I, I think it's one of those things that speaks to you, you want to have it shown off in your, in your house or your, your office. So uh, we know from the architecture line, this border really helps present it. Um, but it is also still a fun model. So we don't want to make it seem too static. It does remove from the base and you can see that lunar surface, which is hopefully quite cool. Um, but it also separates again, where when they return to Michael Collins up in the uh, spacecraft, uh, this part separates out as well. And we have it so that way you can open it up in the middle. We have these doors that the figures actually, in, in real life, they had to crouch down and crawl underneath and out onto the ladder. And then on the inside, we have uh, also almost the same amount of space as they had <laughs> in the real spacecraft. Uh, but you can actually open this from the front or from the back and access that play. So we've had some nice fun with the, uh, the modularity of it. But we've also got some of the authentic details, like you can pull this down. And we've got the camera, so when he was actually going down the ladder, he pulled on a cord, and then this pops down, and that's how we got the first footage. And then we have an additional thing back here that you can pull down, and there's a little reflector that you can place here, and that's still on the moon today. So if you want, you can put a little uh, laser pointer or something, and you can get a, a bounce back from the moon. So some really fun, authentic details that we tried to add. That's the awesome stuff. When you see such a model for the first time, and see all the functions, which are awesome. And of course, it's shiny right now because yes. we see all the golden pieces here. So um, those, is, uh, I mean, we've seen golden pieces before, but there are a few more elements here. Yeah, I think when you see this in real life, if you go to the Smithsonian or some of the other places where they have representations of this, it's all foil. And they have like bronze and gold and silver foil. It's a real mashup of them. And that was for temperature control because from uh, when the sun is present and not, the temperature can change by hundreds of degrees. So it protects the, the spacecraft and we wanted to make sure to capture that with some beautiful drum lacquer tiles. So we have this, uh, this little corner tile here for the first time. Even the one by one is something that's uh, not very common. And then we have the parables as well. So the mixture of the drum lacquered, which has that nice shimmer, and then also these reflective stickers. Hopefully when you see it in just the right light or in the living room, uh, it really just pops and stands out on the shelf. So we see a lot of play functions, but it's also a great display model. And um, last time we talked about some prices, um, which were m maybe a little bit high, but this one is fine, it's 89 euro. Yes, how did you know that? <laughs> May maybe I've heard of it. <laughs> yes. No, I think for what you've got here, uh, there's no discussion this time. I hope, I hope. No, we, 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 we're hoping that this is actually at a, at a reasonable price point that people can go to, especially when you think normally when we have to include or when we choose to include all of those shiny gold details and things, uh, that is a, a premium brick that, uh, that sometimes can raise the price, but we, we got the balance right, I think. And additionally, if I could just show up one more geeky thing. Of course, Mike of course. Mike was here. He would definitely want to show off. But he's in the U.S. <laughs> he is. <laughs> but he has, um, he, he worked on some of the initial geometry of this. And then Lars Joe really took it and, and ran with it. Um, but you can see how this all comes together so tightly. It's actually quite neat. Uh, and also the legs. These are actual structural elements with all of this different geometry. Uh, building it is definitely a joy. I'm looking forward to this, hopefully in the next days. So, and what I love here, it's minifigure scale. Yes. As much as I do love the, the big rocket, Apollo 5, whereas this one is a tiny version uh, too. And, um, but it's always great to see minifigs around, and we've got two here. Yes, 
We have the two that actually were on the moon, and then if you remember up above, uh, Michael Collins is flying around, and then they would rejoin him there. So it is supposed to be the very first landing on the moon with those first footsteps. Otherwise, if we did later versions, we'd want to include the, the lunar buggy and driving around and stuff like that. But the first one didn't have that, so it's really important to capture those first moments. So big step for Lego here, and yes. for us also. Um, and what we've seen here, um, you can tell, you know, I. I'm not a big fan of stickers, so I always have yes. to figure out if there's a... I see a lot of printing. Yes. Now, th this is a sticker, right? The, fo the foil we've chosen is stickers, but I think that when you get stickers, the foil ones seem to be appreciated more because yeah. you can use them for other things. And they're quite generic shapes. You can see there's some triangles and different angle shapes. Um, so we've tried to reduce how many we use, but we have one for the reflector, one for the flag. Um, and some of those reflective things. When we talk about printed pieces, of course, uh, this tile is printed. Yes. And are there more print pieces? We also have the uh, the minifigure torso is new. So that's the first time that we've done that print. And it actually has the uh, NASA logo on it. We, we had a good partnership with them where they really helped us again try to get the details just right. This was my next question, Jamie. So you look inside my head because I want to ask, have you worked together with NASA on this one? So have you been there? Or do you have yeah, we haven't been there. We don't travel all no. the time <laughs> as much as we would love to. Uh, but they, they were very helpful in making sure to answer all of our questions. And of course, they're, they're still trying to promote science around the world and the, the new ambitions going to Mars. But they think this is a, a wonderful celebration that they want to, of course, celebrate. And uh, we're really happy to be a part of it. And Jamie, I have to tell you, um, this year so far was a fantastic creator expert um, year. Oh, thank you. The Conor Garage is, is awesome, and of course, the, the Ford Mustang is, yes. is awesome. So, um, I mean, when you listen to all the people out there, you still can feel how excited everybody is because of yeah. this car. So I think this is one of the biggest, biggest hits we've, we've seen so far. Yeah. Like, we're, we're really happy because, you know, internally we're happy about the Bugatti for Technic, and, you know, it gets to a point where you're like, Oh, if I hear about the Bugatti one more time, <laughs> finally people are talking about the Mustang. And it's kind of nice for people to come over and say, hey, how about that Mustang? I'm like, yeah, you know it. Uh, so it, it's, it's really connected with a lot of people, yeah. and uh, we're really happy to see the response. And there's some rumor. I mean, you are the, the design lead here, and you're always my favorite lead designer, as you know, because all the great stuff which is already out there. But you're not responsible on your own for sets. But there is one Lego designer who told me that you built really some parts of the Conor Garage. So this is true. So Jamie Barat is still a Lego designer. There, there, there are parts, there are yes. moments that I get to help. And uh, there's moments on here, there's moments on the garage. Fewer moments on the Mustang, because Mike just ran with that one. Okay. Uh, but it, it is there is some time, also with the Stranger Things, uh, getting to help out with that one was quite a refreshing uh, yeah. change. So there are moments. There are moments. So there is still Jamie playing with bricks. Yes. Okay. My, my desk is still a happy desk. And this one is, again, the most work of Mike Psyche. No, this is actually Lars Joe. Mike Psyche helped ah, out with the geometry right. at the okay. beginning, but this is Lars Joe's uh, okay. design, which is rather interesting because he's normally known for Lego architecture. Uh, he also did the firehouse for Creator Expert. Which is awesome. Yes. Yeah. So uh, this was a real passion point of his. He thought it would be really fun to do. Uh, and that's where hopefully you see the passion of Mike, you see a passion of Lars Joe, and then a little splash of me in there. Uh, nice team coming together. Only good guys there. Jamie, thank you so much for your time. It was great to see you again. And uh, this is out there. And it's a lovely set. Thanks so much. Thank you. Bye.